guys, it's Dia and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I would like to apologize for disappearing for past so many weeks. If you haven't seen my last video, it's about my life update, my pregnancy vlog, uh, my pregnancy announcement. So obviously, now you guys know that I am pregnant. Currently, I'm in my second trimester. So this video is going to be about my first trimester pregnancy symptoms, how I felt, and why didn't I vlogged? So let's get started. So my so my number one first trimester symptom was extreme extreme exhaustion. It was so heightened that I would feel no energy at all in my body. Uh, my first pregnancy experience was completely different. I was working that time. Probably I was more occupied in works. So I wasn't quite concentrating whether I'm feeling uh, exhaustion or not. And I was sitting on a chair whole day pretty much. But this time around, I am running around after my toddler who is 18 months old now. And there were times when she, I had to let her play by herself and I would be taking a nap on the floor while she was playing on the floor. So it's very different. This experience is very different than my first pregnancy. Um, I don't feel like cooking or cleaning or doing the laundry is a big thing. So I still have, um, there were times when I had like two days of laundry to fold, but I had like no motivation or no energy to fold the laundry. So this was, I think the biggest challenge that I had in my first trimester. And I was hoping and wishing uh, every day and praying to God that please let this first trimester pass. So my another pregnancy symptom, which was as worse as the exhaustion was nausea. Now you want to feel happy when you're pregnant, but this nausea just don't let you be happy. Uh, you can't feel the happiness of being pregnant. I just wanted to get rid of nausea. So, and I just could not manage it this time. Most of course, I wasn't mentally prepared. First pregnancy, I was so mentally prepared. It was bad. It was very bad during my first pregnancy as well. But this pregnancy, I was like just not mentally prepared so I think it took the toll on me and I just asked the doctor to write me a prescription medicine um, for managing nausea which I took once a day she told me I can take thrice a day but I, um, my my nausea was worse in the evening so I had bad evening sickness so I would just take uh, one in the afternoon around three to four ish and then that would save me literally that would save my evenings so still it just didn't disappear it was very much there but it was manageable and i could do some chores i can look after my baby so i think it was not bad so when i found out uh initially that i'm pregnant um i think that was around week six or seven that's when i started feeling feeling food aversions so sometimes i would like something and the very next moment very next day i just don't want to see that food or fruit anymore there were times when i literally craved for milk and then the next day i was like no i don't want to see milk or even smell of it uh, though it doesn't smell, but uh, I think during pregnancy, your hormones are so high that you can smell everything. <laughs> so yeah, I just didn't like milk at times and at times I just loved it. I think it was a bit, my body was a bit confused. So now I am more leveled out being in second trimester, what my cravings are. So I'll update you about my second trimester in my next video. This video is uh, particularly about my first trimester. <sighs> One funny thing, my uh, biggest challenge I would say during my first trimester was to change my daughter's dirty nappies. Like I literally took a, a, my husband's handkerchief, I would tie it on my face, apply some Vicks vapor up on it and then and only then I can actually change my daughter's dirty nappies. Otherwise, I would puke. <laughs> so yeah, that was, I think, the biggest challenge. And I would have exhaust 
fan on uh, for like 15 20 to 30 minutes uh, during and after the changing process because I don't know I could smell poop everywhere like even if it wasn't smelling I would ask my husband can you smell it and he's like no and then I would actually so yeah that was one funny thing and most most challenging thing was to change the dirty diaper <laughs> One thing I'm really worried about uh, in this pregnancy and it's not just for the first trimester but for the entire pregnancy is um, a couple of fibroids that I have not in the uterus. Uh, it's not going to hurt the baby or anything but it's actually uh, on the outside, outside wall of the uterus but in my first pregnancy my experience was so horrible that one out of the three fibers that i had one of them degenerated now if you don't know what degeneration means fiber degeneration means that when you're pregnant fibroids feed off the blood and the nutrition it takes away the nutrition from the baby and they feed on it and then they grow in size so i had fibroid size of a small olive and it grew to the size of small mandarin and then that particular one degenerated and that lasted for one whole week that degeneration process but it's not simple it's so bad it's so painful that you can't move can't maneuver can't change sides can't use washroom obviously can't do any household work so i was quite lucky last time that it happened during the christmas break and my husband was home to completely take care of me feed me take me to the washroom and everything but that was worse than labor labor lasts for like how long 12 hours 24 hours a day maximum this lasted for 7 to 10 days and that was like hell experience for me so this pregnancy i am actually um asking at every ultrasound uh, give me the dimensions what this fibroid is looking like whether it's increasing size rapidly what's happening so i just have my fingers crossed that i don't have ex don't experience what i experienced in my first pregnancy so if you guys are interested in um knowing exactly how my pregnancy and labor was um for my first pregnancy do leave me the comments below and definitely do a video about it because this fiber was not only a complication that i had i had a couple of couple more so if i can um share my experience and help somebody out there i think uh, i'll be more than happy to do that other than the symptoms one funny thing that i find about the pregnancy is pregnancy forgetfulness and it just hits me as soon as i get pregnant i guess one funny incident that i want to share with you guys once i was um trying to boil milk for my daughter i never give her uh, i know milk is pasteurized and there's no need to boil it but i think that's just indian thing that you just boil milk and then you let it cool to the room temperature and then you give it to your baby anyways um so i was boiling milk and i was standing in front of the gas burner for like 10 minutes and then i was going crazy why this is not boiling why this is not boiling and then i just went frustrated and i just got frustrated and i was like what is happening to this milk and then my husband sweetly comes in and say please turn on the gas first <laughs> so yeah that's a little funny thing that happened with me so i was just standing there and for 10 minutes i just didn't even notice that i haven't turned the gas on so yep that's something silly that i did so guys i guess that's it about this vlog and do let me know if you're interested in my second and third trimester vlogs and i'll definitely do and i will try to um be more regular during my pregnancies because i planned so much i was hoping and praying to god that god please make me pregnant so that i can do so many uh pregnancy videos i want to vlog this entire journey so that i can look back on it and i can actually see how i felt how i looked and how i was coping with the things so yeah but as soon as i got pregnant i think i lost all the motivation and the energy to make videos that was the last thing that i've 
that would come to my mind during my first trimester because I was so exhausted. My daughter wakes up around 6 37 a.m. in the morning and then she just likes to run around. She likes to go out in the park, out in the backyard, play. She is very much active. She just doesn't like to be home. So I have to keep running after her. Mm -hmm. By the time it was her nap time, I would be so exhausted that I would be asleep within seconds. So yeah, I am uh, sorry and I apologize for not making a lot of videos and I don't know what's going to happen in future as well, how many videos I'm going to make and I have a lot of plans but hopefully um, I can stick to my plans and make heaps of them. So let's just wait and watch and today obviously my daughter is not home and I'm feeling very good. It's, um, I think second trimester is the best honeymoon uh, of your pregnancy honeymoon period of your pregnancy when you feel best you look best you have a lot of energy you're not heavy you're not nauseated you're not exhausted so i think i'm uh, going through a very good time right now and i'm enjoying my pregnancy and i can't wait to see baby number two and more than that i have started imagining that my daughter diani and the baby number two will play with each other oh my god that is the best feeling ever but before that i have a big obstacle which is taking care of a toddler and a baby i don't know how is that gonna happen i think i'm gonna go crazy i've told my both set of parents that you have to help me as much as possible at least till the baby starts crawling and walking and or the baby turns one stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and for now ciao bye bye